Well, I'm going to start by asking if you remember signing on to this project, because it would have been obviously so long ago now, and you would have been sort of, what, six or seven years old? Yeah, I was six, you know, when I uh, auditioned. Um, so not really, you know, <laughs> I don't really remember it. I actually recently watched an interview with myself from like right before we started filming, so that kind of brought back, you know, a lot of memories. Um, but no, I mean, it, it is, you know, it's very foggy, so it is. I, I kind of don't remember, at, you know, not working on Boyhood. It was always just sort of a part of my life. It must be quite strange watching the finished product because there must be lots of scenes and things that you shot that you don't actually remember happening. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, that's, that's definitely a very strange part of it, you know, is just seeing this person that I recognize as me, but I don't, I don't remember being that person and I don't remember doing these things. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's surreal, definitely. Is it, can it be quite difficult to watch? Because it's such a kind of personal, quite candid exploration of, of this character. And I think that, I mean, I can barely look at pictures of myself as a kid without kind of wincing. on this, yeah, wincing and having kind of this sort of strange nostalgia trip. And yeah. you're watching yourself up on a big screen of a room full of people. And growing, yeah, it's, it's insane. I mean, it, you know, I, that kind of, the self-consciousness is, <laughs> it, it is, I've had to get over that, you know, which is I've, you know, I've, I've struggled with, you know, being self-conscious and embarrassed as much as anyone else. And I'm grateful, really, that, you know, I've kind of had this, this just huge part of me, you know, projected to, to so many people that it's just kind of forced me to, you know, to really just kind of get past that, so. So across, across the 12 years, did you ever have any, any doubts? Or was there ever a time when you sort of questioned why you were doing this or whatever you wanted to carry on? No, I mean, you know, by, by the time I was old enough to question it, it had, I had just, it was just such a part of my life that I, it didn't even occur to me really, you know? And it was just, it was always such a pleasant, enriching experience that, you know, I don't think I ever really had a reason to not, you know, to not want to do it. So how flexible was, was Richard in allowing you to make changes to the person personality of the of the character yourself? Were you able to mm. to say, I think he should do this, or I think he'd do sort of grow up in this way, or did you have much of an input in that regard? Well, I mean I mean you know, I think the Rick's you know, Rick's kind of mission was always to have the progression of the character follow me. Or not follow, but you know, kind of go with me where I went, you know, to a certain extent. And, you know, I was always, especially later on, I was, you know, a part of crafting and kind of building the character. So it was never, it wasn't like, I need, you know, can we change this? I was just kind of a part of it from the beginning, you know, so it was just the character kind of was what I wanted it to be, you know. So did it get to a point when you almost weren't acting? Did were you, I mean, how similar are you to Mason? How? No, I mean, you know, there, there are a lot of, you know, s incidental elements of my personality in, you know, ref that are reflected, definitely that were used to flesh out the character, but he's a very crafted character. So it was, you know, I was definitely always portraying someone else. And do you miss sort of Mason and this world and this character and this lifestyle? Because it must almost be like a another life that you've got in yeah. a way. I mean, not, not as much the character, but working on the project, I definitely miss, you know, it was a, a beautiful experience that I, you know, I will um, cherish for the rest of my life, I think, so. So is, I mean, is acting what you, you want to do from, from here on? So I suppose when you sort of signed up to this, you were sort of too young to, to make the decision like I that. Mean, I mean, really, I, I, was, I really wanted to act when I was young. And I, you know, I certainly do. I'm interested in a great, you know, a lot of things. Um, but acting is certainly one of them. And I, you know, if I have opportunities, I'll take them. I was just going to uh, sort of ask about Richard as well. I mean, he's one of the most ambitious creative filmmakers sort of out there, and he's always trying to push the boundaries of, of cinema. It must have been a real sort of joy to to have him him as a, a mentor in that regard and a director across all those years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's I've learned so much, you know. And I think, you know, both my parents are artists, so I've been mentored by a lot of artists throughout my life, you know. And but Rick has an has an amazing, you know, patience and you know, just kind of intention to his craft that has been great to you know to learn from and be able to kind of you know find start to find my own craft through you know what I've what I've learned from Rick and you know Ethan and Patricia and a lot of the crew even you know there there are a lot of great artists worked on this film. So. Um, just quickly because you just mentioned your parents what would they make of, of this movie because it must be quite strange for, for them to watch you growing up on screen I mean it must be surreal for you. I can't even imagine, yeah. I mean, you know, they're both floored, just, you know, they love it and, you know, cry as much as I do, and so, I don't know. 
You'd have to ask them specifically, but. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thanks.